Hi, I'm Karen Henry and I had the uh, J plasma resurfacing procedure done by Dr. Janowski and I just wanted to kind of give a little bit of an insight of what happened and how it came about. So I am probably the perfect example of the age of the suntan. I have to say that aluminum foil and um, baby oil were my best friends growing up <laughs> for longer than I like to admit. Not to mention everybody has dirty laundry and I have to hang mine out and say that I was a smoker. And I smoked from the time I was 16 and the last few years I have been a good closet smoker. In fact, such a good closet smoker that my dearest friend didn't even realize that I was. Well, about three months ago, my friend and I, we were out having a play day and she was expressing to me that Dr. Janowski and Liz were looking for a candidate with deep, deep, deep wrinkles. Well, obviously, who do we have here? Because I have them. And she says, I, I don't want to be involved in it. Here's the pictures. Here's a book. If you're interested, talk to him. So I did kind of my homework, not like most people would probably do. I found out that it's non-invasive and it's a one-time shot and there's no risk. Well, knowing Dr. Janowski personally and knowing his skills, I'm like, it's a no-brainer. Truth be told, I had very low self-esteem. Nobody really knew it because I covered it over very well, but I didn't realize until just the last few weeks and thinking it over, I realized how badly I felt about myself. I felt like I was in the corporate world up until retiring and I felt like I would walk into a room and people would go, oh my gosh, look at those wrinkles. I always felt like everybody was staring at my wrinkles and I just felt like I looked older than heck. So I made the appointment and I came in and talked to him and look, I'm weeping because it's just amazing. And the first question out of his mouth was, so Karen, do you smoke? <laughs> Unfortunately, I said the truth and said yes. And he says, well, and he started basically to close his book and he says, I can take care of the wrinkles, but it's a waste of time because it isn't going to work if you're going to smoke. Well, interestingly enough, three weeks prior, I had gone in for my physical and they had said, you have two options here, Karen, because your breathing is not good. You can either A, quit smoking, or B, you're going to be pushing an oxygen tank. What do you think that scared me? No. I thought, oh, okay, well, I'll work it through. But when he said this to me, and I thought, oh my gosh, I have a new life, an opportunity, and this isn't something that he's, you know, going to be able to perform, and I have so much confidence in him. I haven't had a cigarette since September 1st. And I'm quite proud about it, and I haven't missed it. So he explained some of the stuff he was going to do and um, he said, you're going to have to plan on two weeks to be housebound. And I'm like, wow, two weeks, I'm a go person. But then the more I thought about it, I put lemonade to lemons and I said, hey, what better opportunity you have a two week vacation in home. Everybody has projects and you know, honeydews that they've been wanting to do and they just get put on the back shelf and they just don't get taken care of or books you want to read. And so I just made a long list of things and came into it, showed up at the office and they gave me a medication that it was a pill that kind of took away anxiety and um, I really wasn't nervous, I don't think. But anyways, they did that and then they put on a cream that kind of numbed the skin so that I didn't feel when they were putting in more injections to numb more. And then I sat in the chair and I just closed my eyes. And I don't know what happened after that because I don't want to know. I <laughs> just do your thing and make me, you know, <laughs> transform it. And what I remember is that there was a nurse and she was sitting there rubbing my arm the entire time and patting me. And every once in a while I could feel myself kind of tense up and she'd go, Karen, just relax. And I'd relax. And she'd pat me. And then periodically through the procedure, I feel this warm hand. And it was Dr. Janowski, and he's going, you're doing good, Karen. And it was so reassuring. And I just felt so good. So went home, and uh, the first couple days I slept and rested. 
And then I started feeling better and we, you know, got a lot of things done around the house. And I say we because of the fact that I had the vision, but I didn't have a lot of the manpower and the strength. So I incorporated my sweet husband that I think he was kind of glad after the two weeks was up because he, had, he got a lot of stuff done. We had to clean his basement. Most organized. Could go into business with it. I'd like to share three occurrences, episodes that happened that really solidified and made me feel so good. I was out shopping with a friend one day and we ran into this lady and she was saying that she was 62 and she was going to be a grandma for the first time. And my friend said, well, I'm 66 and I have three grandchildren. And I stood back and went, well, ladies, I'm 68, so show your respect to your elders. And she went, oh, no way. There's no way you are 68. My shoulders went back. I have never felt so excited. And this was only like three and a half weeks after the procedure. So even a lot of the puffiness and stuff that still hadn't gone away. Well, then I was at a gathering and there was a friend that I've been friends with for, goodness gracious, 40 years. And, and she kept looking at me and she kept looking at me and she came up and she says, there's something different about you. Have you changed your hairstyle? And I'm like, no, still the same hairstyle. She's like, something's different. So then we were getting ready to leave and she comes over and she hugs me and she leans back. She's like, Karen, I cannot explain. I don't understand it, but you glow. And I'm like, well, thank you, honey. No, I haven't told her, but I will tell her. I, I haven't told a lot of people yet. It's timing is everything. And then the one that's really special is my husband, we were sitting there one night. Well, no, it's happened a couple times. And all of a sudden, he'll just lean forward and he'll look over and go, Karen, you look so pretty. <laughs> it It's really... Makes me feel very good. Now, I weep up because of the fact that I'm just a you know, sappy person, but in the beginning I had to come in every week to take pictures and so they could see the progression. So it was for a while it was every week and then it was two weeks and then it got to be three weeks and then, you know, it was five. And after about the third or fifth visit, looking at the comparisons, I couldn't quit crying, as I'm doing now, because the transformation has been absolutely overwhelming. I can't say enough of how excited I am, and I feel like a new person. Now, downside is I gained weight because I quit smoking, but that's okay. <laughs> I can take care of that, but I feel like a new person doing it. And I'm not embarrassed walking in any place anymore. I don't feel like people are looking at me going, oof, you look old. Now I look at other people and go, I have a solution for you. <laughs> I cannot say enough about how much I admire Dr. Janowski and his beautiful wife, Liz. That mention, may I say, I've known for 35 years, I think at least. They are the most caring, loving, wonderful, compassionate, professional people. And coming into this office, to this salon, you just, you feel like you're the only person on earth. Everybody is so happy to see you. They welcome you with a smile and sincerity. And it's the most amazing experience I've ever had. And I can't thank them enough for my new life.